and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. And the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No! Cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Flying down to the ground. Dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, hmm, Maybe this once. <laughs> I'll have witch without jibs. <laughs> but just as he planned to begin on his feast, rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl, and a growl, and a croak, and a shriek. It dripped, and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back, and he started to shake. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. He spluttered. 
I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you. But now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and said the dog. And thank you! Oh, thank you! The grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Ah! <sighs> And she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something. Everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a comb, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. <laughs> She was stirring. She muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zackity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes! cried the witch. And they all clambered on. Stick. And whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> 